Don't think for a moment I never felt the pain You can't imagine The hurt and the shame They put the nails through my hands Pierced my side, please understand It wasn't easy But it was worth it It wasn't easy So what do you say? See, Larry, you're a really a nice gentleman. Sincerely speaking, I like you so much, but I can't do this with you. What do you mean by you can't do this with me? You know I've done a whole lot for you. Yeah, so I know. your education, your upbringing, including your parents. I know, and I really appreciate you. I appreciate everything. But for God's sake, you're a married man. You can't go out with a married man. Why are you bringing this up now? So when I was helping you, did you know I was a married man? I did, but you never told me that the real motive behind all your philanthropic gestures towards me was because you wanted a relationship. I took you as an elder brother and I didn't know we'll get to this end. Why are you finding it difficult to date me? Because I cannot go out with a married man. So, when I was financing your education, giving you stuff, your upbringing, and putting you into this culture, you didn't know no, I was a married man. I did. And as I already told you, I saw you as an elder brother. What do you mean by you saw me like that? As an elder brother. Larry, please, if you want us to talk about something else, let's do. I can't do this with you. Listen. I know I'm a married man. I can't change my mind. See, you chose your wife. You make those promises to her. And the mark of a rich true gentleman is to stick to his promises. Listen, I'm a married man, right? I can change my mind. Besides, I'm the man of the house. Yeah, I know. But you can't change my mind. Why can't you change your mind? Because I don't want to. I really need you. Let me ask you a question, okay? Okay, I'm listening. Supposing you hear that your wife is either flirting, cheating with somebody else, or even plans divorcing you to marry somebody else. What would you do? <laughs> they not do such a thing. I thought as much, but you want to. What do you mean by you thought as much? <laughs> your wife can cheat on you, but you can. I'm not cheating on my wife. You want to cheat on your wife, unfortunately for you. I wouldn't be the one to do this. I wouldn't be the one to bring chaos into Who your family. You bring, you're going to bring chaos into my house. Why are you bringing chaos into this? Let me please. I can't do this. I'm sorry. Are you are you trying to walk out on me? If you want us to talk about something else, fine. But I wouldn't do this with you. Trust me, I wouldn't. I can't. Excuse me. But it was Hello guys. I believe you entertain. How many of our ladies these days and young men can let go of their benefactors solely because their intention is not to wreck a home? Matthew chapter 19, verse 5 to 6. For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and the two shall become one. Therefore they are no more two, but one flesh. What therefore God has put together, let no man put asunder. If you prefer to challenge God on this verse, please feel free to. Every action, however, has consequences. This is the Christian Inspirer. Don't forget to spread the word by sharing on your various social medias and subscribe for weekly releases. God bless you. Thank you.